Hello, I'm Calandra, and today we're going to talk about different things that you can use a cutting machine for for AmpGuard. Now, when I'm talking about cutting machines, there are very uh, different types that you can have. There's Cricut, Brother, Silhouette. They'll have different versions. There are other ones that have maybe more professional quality, and there, I believe there's a new one from Sizer as well. And different machines will have different capabilities. Not all of these projects can be done with all the machines. I personally own a Cricut Maker, so that's what I most of my stuff has been made from. I uh, will be showing some examples that were made on other machines by other people as well. And so usually when I talk to people about, about their machines, they generally don't know what to do with it. Uh, haven't really thought a whole lot about what to do with it in AmpGuard. So we're just going to look at a lot of different ideas. And I'm going to bring up some photos and some ideas. Statement. Pull that up here. And one of the basic things that comes up a lot, to think about, is awards. There are many different options of what you can do with awards and a Cricut. This was made by, by Renai, and the crowns and the wools and the letters were all done with stencils. And the stencils were made with the temporary removable vinyl. And you can do the stencils in one of two ways. You can do it where you put the image like the wolf on there and paint around it and then peel it away and have the color below it. Or you can do it where you have the the opposite, the negative, where you have the letters and be able to get the letters on there like that. You can also do it where you apply letters directly to a canvas and use that for your reward. There's, while I haven't done this, I've seen others that have done things with awards where you can use the pen function on the Cricut to do the writing. And there's also these new things that are for Cricut specifically that are watercolor markers that fit in the pen holder and you draw with it and then you apply the water blending brush afterwards and you can use that for different effects. There is another example of an award. This one is on linen and I used HTV and heat transfer vinyl that ironed on for the letters and the dragons. And then for little variation of things, the color spots on the dragon are actually needle felting. So you can get creative with that. You could use this technique for making banners too or favors, some different ideas. So we're looking at awards. Well, this one's not an award. You, uh, you can do awards in this style and making a shadow box. Uh, there are ones that you can put lights in it as well, or just doing different layers. You can do a 3D mandala that has different layers of different shapes that are cut out and be able to do wording around that to make an award. I've seen one that's been done with using the flowers, which we're going to show a flower here. And the last two awards that I showed, those were both made by me. Well, this is an, an award, but you could do an award in this style. This was made by Alexandriana of the Rising Winds. And this is a, a menu that was made for one of their feasts for, in the Rising Winds and then using the flowers. So feast, dec feast decor is another thing that you could do, but you could do an award with this type of style too. I've actually thought it would be kind of cool to do a pop-up award. And there are different files out there for making pop-ups like a pop-up book, but have it be a scroll. 
This one was made by Renai. She used a stencil from the vinyl to make the, to do the lettering on here. And this is on rabbit skin. And then there's also stuff called infusible ink. That is, it's different than, than vinyl. It still requires heat to transfer it on and usually needs to have uh, a high polyester content for it to take, but this is a spell list done with the invisible, infusible ink. You could use that with making a work too or favors or banners and transfer it onto different fabrics. So now we're going to go into just some other general ideas of things. Uh, this was made by somebody that I apologize, I'm not entirely sure their Amtgar name, but I think it's what's on here is Adele. And she made lab labels for, for this product that was given out at a feast. So you could use that for different types of things. And you can do labels with cardstock, you can do it with vinyl, with removable vinyl. Other things for de decorating, this involved putting vinyl on the ribbon. This is also from Alexandriana. So you could make a trim with gross crane ribbon and HTV vinyl and add that to garb or the outline of a banner. Speaking of garb, this was also made by Renai using HTV vinyl on a hood. Work well as a center instead of doing applique on a tunic or on belt favors. So, for those that don't really sew, speaking of belt favors, this is also done by Renai. This is a QR code that works with Mobile Orc that you can scan in. So, to give different ideas. And this is a banner scroll made by Renai using uh, multiple layers of HTV vinyl. And this actually shows something that you can do is you can also make a file, get the signature from the, from the monarch and you can make that into a file and put that SVG onto the awards. Now beyond just the vinyl or the paper, there's more that you can do depending on what machines that you're working with. With the Cricut Maker and Maker 3, you can do engraving. Uh, there are some other machines out there that have some adaptations for it as well. And you can engrave on thin metal and acrylic and also leather. This is a pie server that I engraved an award onto. So you can get creative. There's uh, some metal spatulas that you can engrave on too. Uh, there are many videos out there that will tell you how to do it. Also, I can help if you have any questions, want to try something like that. You can do fun light up awards. Made a few of those. Here's one that actually has a signature for the monarch on it, so you can still manage to put a signature on there. Some other fun things to do with engraving is I make a lot of event papers. Very simple little things. And our, our last class of the day will actually be setting up how to make an engraved paper. Just some more examples with that. You can also engrave on metal. I like getting the colored aluminum, so then you have the white showing through and it makes things stand out better.
Also, I know this is not the greatest thing here, but you can also engrave on bracelets and make jewelry to complement your garb to bring out your character. And a project bag. So different things. You could put your heraldry on a bag and then everybody will know what you're doing. So you could do that for a bag for bringing things out on the field. Also be a good way for identifying your your weapons, your your swords or your arrows. You could put HTV vinyl on the head on the the head of an arrow thing and it should be okay still on the fabric there. So identify everything. On the some of the cutting machines have the ability to cut out fabric on with Cricut, the Explorer, you have to have fabric that's bonded, but on the Maker, you can cut out fabric that's not bonded. This is wool felt, and you can see the excellent detail that it was able to get on that. Other fabrics may not necessarily get as much detail as felt, but it still can get some pretty good detail. This one was cut out by me. It was used on a Masterhood cloak. Or hood. I have another example here with some fabric applique. This was made by a dean that used the spider, uh, cut out the spider with the cricket. I realize this is not turned the right way. Here's another example of an award when I did the engraving and then I put some sparkle cardstock behind it to accent the engraving and then framed it. So you can play with different things with that. Uh, going back to the decoration idea, the, the center Thing here, the little lantern luminary. That is just a simple cylinder. It, they get, they're easy. They have slots and tabs, and so you can lay them flat for transfer and transport. And then it has glassine paper on the inside for diffusing the light. And that's just putting that over a battery powered tea light. It's a simple decoration thing to do. Here's one that doesn't have the glassine paper in, but with the light in it to show how that works. And this is, I laid out flat. So these are reusable. And it's just cardstock. So besides doing stencils with the removal of vinyl, you can also cut out stencils out of heavier plastics, uh, such as mylar, and be able to reuse. I have some stencil uh, designs that I've set up with different shield shapes on them, as well as various basic shapes and things like acanthus leaves, so that they can be used for scribal projects, for making scrolls. Those are especially useful for people that don't draw or you want things to be consistent. And I've done a couple stencils for people with their heraldry in multiple layers so they can add that on. And that's actually what that shield was part of. But with other favor ideas, these are bottle openers that work well for handing out to people or using for different things. Can also jazz up some feast wear. And you can put vinyl stickers on something. Now you do want to use caution that the vinyl is not food safe. So you do not want it directly on the top of a plate. But if you were using a glass plate, you could put it on the bottom side of it and have it show through. Or if you have it on glassware, make sure it's not going to be used anywhere where lips would touch. 
but you can use it on other parts of it. Then there's a fun tip for the maker called the debossing tip. And that can be used on things like certain cardstocks, thin gauge metal. This is 36 gauge copper. I also have 38 gauge aluminum that I've used. And it can also be used on leather. You can use both the engraving and the debossing tips on leather. Uh, just things have to be no more than two millimeters thick for it to go through a Cricut. And how this was done is I used the debossing tip with, I did it mirrored to put on the lettering and the numbers and then also the dragon shape. And then afterwards I used different embossing tools to work it from behind and also from the front to raise up the letters and the dragon to get that depth on it but using the debossing tip to transfer large designs is a lot easier on your hands to do that for this type of work. And it works for transferring your leather tooling patterns. You can also cut out small pattern uh, things with thin leather. You could cut out a pouch with a Cricut. You could also use it to cut out small sewing patterns too. You're limited on the size of the mats they're generally 12 inch by 12 inch or 12 inch by 24. And you don't get that full range of the mat because there's a little bit of error area that it won't cut. But you could easily use it for certain some bodice patterns or making pouches or hats or stuffed animals that you could use to hand out. So some different ways of using that. So that's pretty much it of just going over some uh, lots of ideas of what you can use a Cricut for to beyond just, okay, I'm cutting out a piece of vinyl. What do I do with it? Is it but with feast decorations, awards, marking your equipment, garb, there's so many different things that you could have fun with and play around and do different things and always keep seeing people getting more creative with things. So that's all I have to for, with that, if you want to stop recording and then we can discuss things if anybody else has anything they want to add or share.